All right, so in this video, I wanted to explore the images that we do have of other planets' surfaces. Obviously, there are millions and millions of photos of Earth's surface, but when it comes to other planets in our solar system and even a moon of Saturn, we have gone to several different places. However, the extent at which we've traveled has been unfortunately very minimal and that is due to our technology the lack of emphasis we've put on travel as well as a lot of these other planets not really cooperating with us in terms of the immense pressure the immense temperature and quite frankly several planets not even having a surface sadly to travel to i also do want to do a hypothetical video what if every planet in our solar system had a surface so like we could land on Jupiter, we could land on Neptune, how amazing would that be? What if every planet in our solar system was habitable and, and just like Earth? I'm guessing we'd probably be on Mars. Those are other video ideas, but when it comes to the actual photos that we have, like I said, the first one, the obvious one, it is Earth. We've got millions and millions of photos of our Earth, the surface of it, and we also do have plenty different photos that probes have taken. These are actually really high resolution now of Mars. Now Mars is the obvious choice if we were to try and create some type of colony off of Earth with its location, with the fact that it at least cooperates a little bit in terms of the weather, although it does get a lot hotter there and a lot colder. Theoretically, a colony could survive on Mars. I kind of view it as trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, but it's understandable based on our lack of interstellar travel development right now that we would look and turn to Mars to possibly expand and really set up shop there, even though it's not ideal in terms of being suitable for human life. You can see many different photos. Like, when you look at these photos, it's so hard Space in general is very hard to wrap your head around just because we don't have perspective of it. Everything is in our own little bubble to the point where a lot of people, you know, we don't even want to leave our house or our city or anything like that. Imagine an entire another planet that's almost the size of Earth that's just completely vacant. It's just totally barren. And looking at these photos, it is truly remarkable and it's impossible to really put it into context because there is no context. We can go to anywhere on Earth and it would not be the same as stepping foot on Mars because you go to Mars, there's just nothing there. It's just land and nothing. And the planet is filled with Martian soil and dust and the reddish, the planet appears red from afar due to the dust that gets kicked up into the atmosphere. So we do have photos of Mars. We also have one singular photograph that has been kind of altered a little bit of Venus that was taken by a Soviet probe back in 1982, March of 1982. A remarkable, remarkable photo. Now, the thing that took this photo, not surprisingly, burnt up about 60 minutes after it landed, but it is a remarkable photo of just a complete hellscape. Venus with how hot it is. Earth's neighbor, Earth's long-lost twin, it truly is amazing that we do have a surface photo of Venus, and when you compare Venus and the Earth, I mean, the Earth went through phases where it was extremely hot as well. This is Venus's time. You know, there's always the hypothetical I like to think about when it comes to our solar system, and you compare Mars, Earth, and Venus right in a row, there possibly could have been a time period where Earth looked like hell on Earth or was completely frozen, and Mars and Venus looked like by far the most suitable to sustain human life. Maybe there were interstellar travelers going through our solar system and looking at these planets and looking at Mars and Venus and having optimism that maybe they could house life and then looking at Earth and being like, man, you know, that, that is a complete hellscape. It's funny how it ends up turning out billions of years later. But there is a photo, and you know what? I do hope they go back to Venus, and with our technology, certainly if it happened in 1982, you can get better photographs now. Yes, it's extremely hot, but I'm sure it can be done. Technological advancements are extremely rapid, and there's no excuse not to go back, other than people would say, well, it's a waste of money. No, it's very important for the human species to see photographs of other planets. It is something bigger than all of us. When it comes to Mercury, there are no photos of Mercury. It would be very hard to land on Mercury's surface due to the hot and cold side. 
However, there is the hypothetical if you went kind of in the middle of the two, maybe that would be possible. Mercury overall to me is a very boring planet because it's basically Moon 2.0. If you want to see what Mercury kind of looks like, look at some of the photographs of the Moon. And I do think we will be setting up Moon bases. There's going to be a huge space race, probably in the early 2030s. You actually have China, Russia, possibly an agreement there to set up some type of moon base in the United States, I'm sure, is going to be involved as well. Once one country gets obsessed with it, everyone is going to get obsessed with it. It is going to be a space race 2.0 where we're going to have multiple different countries with bases on the moon. It makes complete sense, but just getting back to Mercury, again, there are no actual photos. There are representations of what Mercury would look like, and it does look very similar to moon. And then when it comes to the other planets, Saturn, there's going to be no photos of it. It's a gas giant. Same thing with Jupiter. It would be so amazing if Jupiter had a solid surface with how just large it is. Like, imagine Jupiter, the solid surface with the storm that's bigger than the Earth. It is unfortunate it doesn't have a surface. Uranus as well, along with Neptune. I wish Neptune was a water planet. It would just be so cool if it was a water planet, I don't know. Kind of like an interstellar. But either way, in terms of surface photos of our planets, Earth, Venus, Mars, and that's it. However, Titan, which I'm sure a lot of people know about, it's one of the most famous moons in our solar system, one of the main moons of Saturn. There has been a photograph of Titan. And you know what? I think it would be so amazing if we could go to Titan and take a photograph of Saturn from Titan. But you can take a look at the one photograph that we do have of Titan. There's also been photos of one asteroid along with one comet, although those don't interest me nearly as much as the surface photos of different planets. And when it comes to potentially taking a surface photo of Mercury, I just think it's very unlikely. They may go back to Venus again and get some photos of that. But in terms of expanding life, it's basically only going to be Mars. And then I would imagine as technology continues to, to develop, the idea of trying to make Venus habitable or have some type of cloud base really isn't going to be all that attractive when we're going to be able to travel to other Earth-like exoplanets in about 100 to 200 years, although that is impossible to predict. It just doesn't make sense. I would imagine at some point we will get a Mars colony due to its location, due to it being the most habitable out of any of the other planets in our solar system. Whether that happens by 2050 or not, I think it's very hard to believe. I know Elon Musk wants that, but those are just other planet surface photos that we do have, and I think the next major surface photo that we see, if it's not Mercury, it is going to be of some type of exoplanet once we achieve interstellar space travel. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Links to that's always in the description.